What's up everyone, my name is Alex Costa and I know so many guys who always say, man, if I was rich, I would have the best outfits. Well, let me tell you, you don't have to be rich to look amazing. As a matter of fact, a lot of times rich people start wearing some crazy expensive outfits thinking they're killing it, but in reality, they're just lame. So I started thinking and I got the idea for this video, how to look expensive when you're broke AF in 10 easy steps. Number one is kind of a funny tip, but man, this is absolutely true. Wearing athleisure clothing when you're out running errands. A lot of people think they're gonna run into celebrities and celebrities are gonna be wearing all designer brands. Well, living here in Los Angeles, I see celebrities almost every day and I can tell you from personal experience that nine out of 10 times, they're gonna be wearing workout gear. It's just facts. So wait for a sale like Black Friday or day after Christmas and get yourself some new workout gear for cheap then wear it out to run errands before you work out. And I'm telling you, you're gonna look like every celebrity here in LA. Plus, there is another reason for wearing athletic gear. Working out is hot, man. Girls like when they see a guy that works out. When I see a girl in athleisure in a ponytail, yo, that's hot. So be smart, get some pieces on sale and rock it like a celebrity. My next tip is to hide your price tags. And what I mean by that is to stop wearing branded pieces with big logos on them. A little mystery is good when it comes to prices. What is the difference between a $20 and a $100 white t-shirt? If they look the same to people around you, there is no difference. Without a logo, people will never know how much you paid. And let's not stop at white tees. Think jeans, jackets, hoodies, all of the basics in your wardrobe should have no visible logos. One of my style idols, all right, David Beckham. He's a great example of this. Most of his outfits are made out of solid pieces, usually pretty basic outfits, nothing crazy, no logos. It's way more about how he puts everything together and how well everything fits him instead of what brands he's wearing. Who knows how much this outfit costs? I have no clue. It could be cheap, but it could also be $10,000 because we all know he can afford it. As soon as you put that logo on your shirt, you're letting everyone around you know exactly how much you paid for it. And why would you do that if you're on a budget? You know what doesn't have logos? My brand new limited time clothing collection that just launched and is being sold online and in stores at Nordstrom because I want you guys to have the best wardrobe possible. I want you to be able to mix and match everything that you own. And with these items, you can do just that. Check this out, you can literally wear everything in so many different ways. The t-shirts are made of high quality material, they're stretchy, they're soft. This hoodie is made from the softest fleece you can find and the black skinny jeans are stretchy and perfect. You can mix and match all of these pieces to create dozens of different looks, which will save you a ton of money. And I wanted to take a second here and thank you guys who already ordered your items. It really means a lot to me. The, the flannel shirt is selling like crazy. All right, the boots are going fast. Keep in mind, this is a limited time collection. It, once it's gone, it's gone forever. So head over to Nordstrom website, pick your favorites because you won't be able to do that later. I'm gonna leave a link to my whole clothing collection and some of my favorite items in the description right below the video so you can go and check them out right now. Tip number three that will make you look rich AF, glasses. And I'm not just talking sunglasses, I'm talking about regular glasses too. Both of these should be your best friends, all right? Instead of buying really expensive designer sunglasses, get a couple of inexpensive ones. These are 25 bucks from my collection. We have them in black and in brown. That's really all you need if you're on a budget and if you don't wanna spend a ton of money on sunglasses. The thing is, nobody's really looking or trying to figure out who makes your sunglasses. If it fits your face shape, if it looks good, that's all that matters. Guess what? Most sunglasses, they're made from the same exact material no matter the price. Sometimes they even use the same exact manufacturer. So why not just pick up a few extra pairs and have more options? And look, my homie Jose has his sunglasses brand, Jade Black, and they look super clean. And my other homie, Alpha M, has his brand as well, Enemy Shades. They're both great brands. So between my collection and these two brands, you guys have plenty of affordable options. Number four, your grooming, Dude, it needs to be on point, all right? This is something that you just cannot forget. I get it, we get lazy sometimes, we skip some days, and all of a sudden when you look in the mirror, you look like Chewbacca. And I'm not just telling you to trim your beard every week. That's a given, guys. That's the low level basics, all right? I'm talking about your nails, your nose hair, your eyebrows. You can wear the most expensive in the world, but if you have hair coming out of your nose or your ears, I'm sorry, dude, you're gonna look like crap. If your nails are dirty, 
black, gross, right? People are gonna think that you were digging a hole with your bare hands. And let me tell you one thing that rich people don't do, dig holes with their bare hands. That's a no. All jokes aside, you don't need to be getting weekly manicures or pedicures, whatever, right? You don't need anything like that. Just look at your nails every day. That's it. Clean them, clip them when that needs to happen. And that's really it. Basic hygiene here, guys. And since we're talking about being clean, number five is clean your shoes. You can't look fresh with dirty old sneakers. I always talk about how fresh a pair of clean white sneakers is gonna look, regardless of the price tag. Myself, I'll take a fresh pair of Converse over dirty, messed up Gucci sneakers any day of the week. Who cares how much they cost if they look horrible? You know what saves you money? Not having to buy new sneakers all the time because yours are getting ruined so quickly. Buying things twice, that's a mistake. Buy it once and take really good care of it. Save your money and instead of spending hundreds of dollars on a pair of shoes, pick up a couple of casual sneakers, keep them fresh, you're not gonna regret it. Don't be embarrassed to check out the clearance section either guys, to make sure that you're always seeing what's available and saving some cash. Number six, always tailor your suits. Do not waste your money on a super expensive suit if it doesn't fit you properly. That's a terrible but very common mistake that most men make when they're shopping for suits. The most important thing is that that suit has to fit you perfectly. You would look so much better with a cheap tailored suit than an expensive non-tailored suit. I don't even know if that's a word, but it sucks, all right? Most of my suits are from Zara or Indochino and they're really affordable. I just get them tailored and all of a sudden, they look like I paid 10 times that amount. Number seven, guys, let's talk about your posture. Do you wanna look more expensive? then you have to look like you're the guy in charge. We always talk about how important first impressions are and when you walk into a room, you can either be seen as the confident guy who looks like he knows what he's doing or the sleazy guy who has no idea. And look, yeah, this is gonna take some time and practice, but we all need to do it, all right? Pull your shoulders back, stick your chest out and make sure that you stand up straight. You don't want your body language to speak in any negative way before you even have a chance to talk. I used to put my hands in my pockets when I was nervous all the time. I would just do this, you know, I don't do it anymore though, but I had to teach myself over and over again not to do this until I eventually stopped doing it. If you think about it, all these successful businessmen, they look very confident and this helps them win people over with their new product, their sales pitch or whatever it is they're trying to do. Yo, you know how I know that you're rich? You are carrying a leather weekender bag and you look like you mean business. I've always wanted a bag like that and I remember when I bought my first one a few years back I felt like I was the man. But you don't have to spend a ton of money on this. Zara has duffel bags for like 60 bucks and they look super legit. They might not be real leather, but who cares as long as it looks good. Keep it simple, keep it clean and keep it fresh. You know, the duffel bag is a stylish item that not every guy owns just because most basic dudes, the reality is they're gonna own backpacks. And a week in your bag is a lot more masculine. It looks way more expensive than a backpack. Next up guys, make sure to get a leather jacket. And I think this wouldn't even be considered an Alex Costa video without a leather jacket tip, right? Probably not. Think about it. You always see actors wearing leather jackets. I'm talking Chris Hemsworth, Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Keanu Reeves, literally all the coolest actors right now, they own a leather jacket. I saw a lot of you already bought the leather jacket for my collection. This thing is sick. So glad that you guys are loving it. Thank you guys for all the feedback. A leather jacket is definitely gonna make you look rich AF because it's stylish, it's edgy, it's modern, and there are so many ways to style it, mix and match it to create different looks. Which in turn means that you can own one leather jacket and wear it all the time, but make it look completely different. Look at how many ways I styled my leather jacket in one of my latest videos. It's so easy. Definitely make sure to hit the link in the description to check out this baby because it is selling fast and I'm so happy with how it came out. Next up guys, one of the most important tips from today's video. Always check the fabric. Forget the logo. How about checking the fabric to make sure that the material is on point? That is way more important than anything else. Let me tell you guys, I have some expensive clothes from designer brands that feel horrible to the touch. It's not soft, it's not nice, it feels cheap. And I have really affordable clothes that feel amazing. They're comfortable, they're soft, they feel expensive even though they're not. Whenever possible, go to the store, feel the fabric with your own hands, try it on, see if it's 
stretchy, if it's harsh on your skin, if it scratches your skin for whatever reason, make sure it feels nice. As you guys know, you can walk into a Nordstrom right now to pick up amazing pieces for my clothing collection or shop online with the link below. I hope you guys learned something new from today's video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and become part of the YouTube family. I'm also on Instagram giving you guys plenty of style inspiration. My Instagram is at Alex Costa and I post there pretty much every single day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Peace.